Welcome to Data Doctor's video, Suggestion 831, Multiple Duplicated Lines. Suggestion 831 is triggered when text is repeated throughout the profile. This can occur from an uncleaned merge, a JEDCOM download, or repeated HTML code. Here is the suggestion report for Gibeon Gibson, which only shows one suggestion. 831. The info column shows the beginning lines of the duplicated text. Here is the public view of Gibeon's profile. As you can see, with each fact, it repeats the same two sourced census reports. The sources are from a paid site, Ancestry. If possible, these should be changed to a free site. To find these, go to the top right and hover over his Wikitree ID. At the drop-down menu, click on Research. The Root Search page gives several sites to choose from in looking for sources. Since it's free, let's start with Family Search. There is an 1860 U.S. Census, an 1850 U.S. Census, and a Find a Grave Memorial. In reviewing the Find a Grave link, the memorial has a headstone photo showing dates, making it a good source. Return to Gibeon's profile and click Edit. There are five subheadings under Biography, and, as previously noted, two sources. The 1850 residents and 1860 residents are each sourced by their respective census records. All the other subheadings will be sourced by the Find a Grave memorial photo. Since we are replacing the Ancestry references, delete all sources next to the subheadings. Place the cursor next to the 1850 residents and, at the top of the edit box, click the citation button. Return to the Family Search 1850 Census and click Document Information. On the box that opens, copy the census citation. Paste it on Gibeon's profile between the ref tags. Repeat these steps for the 1860 Census. On a new tab, go to the Find a Grave Memorial. Scroll to the end and click on Source Citation. Copy the just opened text and return to Gibeon's profile. At the death subheading, after creating the citation tags, paste the Find a Grave source, adding the Wikitree template and deleting the first URL, as it is unnecessary. Since this source will be used multiple times, we need to name it. Ref name equals FHE for Find a Grave. Copy the named source and paste it beside burial. Add a forward slash at the end of the tag. Copy that tag and paste it beside both name and birth. Under the Sources heading, once you're sure there are no other sources that have not been mentioned in the biography section, delete the records from Ancestry. There should be nothing underneath that heading now except the References tag. Click on Preview to check your work. In the biography, each fact should have a source. In the Sources section, three sources should be showing, with the one from Find a Grave listing multiple uses. Go to the middle of the screen and explain your changes. This is strongly recommended for all Wikitree users and is required for data doctors. For me, I identify myself as a data doctor, copy the suggestion number and name, and explain what I changed. Save your work. Return to the Suggestions Report, and on the far right, click on Status. On the Suggestions Status page, make sure your Wikitree ID is showing. Of the five status options, choose one, in this case, correct it. Leave a comment from the comment tents or make one of your own. I left one of my own. Click the Update Status button. The last screen shows the status history has recorded your changes. And you're done.